वेलकम टू बायोरत्ना आई एम चंदना सिन गुप्ता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम जेनेटिक्स एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस वॉट इज इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस here from the name itself see incomplete dominance when mendel did his experiments what he found out when he crossed two pure plants showing contrasting characters then in f1 generation in f1 generation 100% of springs they showed only one character they resemble only one of the parent plant based on this observation mendel had given the law of dominance which says that when the two factors are different for example capital t and small t this t it is for tall height and this one for short height when two are together then only one of it is expressed in the first filial generation after mendel his experiments were repeated on other plants also and then we found deviations in some plants for example the four o'clock plant the four o'clock plant mirabilis jalapa or the dog flower or snap dragon as it is called snap dragon or the anti erinum species what we find in them we find that these plants they have two different colored flowers one is red one is white both are pure when they are in pure form then one is red and one is white when we cross them according to mendel all should have been either red or white but it becomes it neither resembles red flower it neither resembles white flower so in incomplete dominance the of springs they show a character which is intermediate of both the parents both parents how let us draw the cross for the antirhinum plant red and white flower the snapdragon plant it has two types of flowers one is red other is white this is also pure this is pure this is also pure when they form gametes this is capital r this one smaller when these two fuse to form the f1 of springs then f1 of springs they are heterozygous impure or having both different types of the two different types of factors which we now call alleles this do not follow mendel's law of inheritance this is neither red nor white these are all 100% pink flowers these are 100% pink flower jab tak pure rahega then only it will show red or white wherever it becomes heterozygous it will be an intermediate character of the two now when we self this one then they are producing the gametes this also 
these two they have separated from each other as per the law of segregation gametes having only one of the factors now they combine in all possible forms to form these four types what are they same same like what you have done already while studying monohybrid cross the t letter is simply replaced by r nothing else and the last is r r this f1 this one was pink now where you can find here the heterozygotes this one the central two this is pure so this is pure red colored flowers this is white and these heterozygotes they are pink many different types of questions come from it students jaise aap padh lete ho mono hybrid cross di hybrid cross incomplete dominance you are going to study co dominance and the pleiotropy and the polygenic inheritance all this we are going to study after that you think that you know everything now the question is asked what is the cross in which the phenotypic and genotypic ratio is same socha pehle kiska same tha see here here all these three they are not red this 1 is to 2 is to 1 this 1 is to 2 is to 1 this is its genotypic ratio also as well as its phenotypic ratio also bahar se hi aapko dikh jata hai ek red hai out of four one is red two are pink and one is white this way once you study after that you analyze it then you solve the questions then you get ready for your d day now this incomplete dominance snapdragon example dekh liya there is one another example that of andalusian fowl these birds they have two pure varieties one is white one is black another is blue blue does not have any separate allele when the white pure white and pure black they are crossed then this heterozygotes which you obtain f1 may be 100% or f2 may be 50% they become blue you know these blue birds these blue fowls they are considered a delicacy they are very much in demand for food whereas these two are not edible so previously what the people used to do they used to kill the white and black one and only used to cross the blue one thinking that by crossing the blue one they will get blue but all the time what they got blue means it is heterozygous ye heterozygous ko jaise usne cross kiya to 50% blue they will get 25% again black 25% white so all the time they had to destroy 50% of their birds and 50% they kept when they came to understand the process of inheritance then they understood ki agar ye white aur black ko cross karte hain then 100% will be blue then they stopped killing the white and black ones let me give you one more example it is that of short horned cattle this short hand cattle it has two varieties one is white haired another is red haired both are pure in their form when they are crossed the same thing go on applying when they are crossed then we get the heterozygote which has a brown hair 
this brown haired or rowan variety which is simply a heterozygous which again appears in F2 in 50%. This is incomplete dominance. This Andalusian fall and shorthand cattle case many workers they think that it is a case of co-dominance. Let us discuss one important point that what makes one factor dominant and other factor recessive. Normally one is dominant and one is recessive. Why? So now we are going to see why one allele becomes dominant and the other becomes recessive. The one which is dominant one, the dominant allele, it is the wild one. Wild means what? Wild means the ancestral one, the Purana one. Jo iklo jab, then it was there. Then the other alleles, they were formed due to the mutation of this wild allele. When the mutation occurred, then the first case is the mutated gene, it has not produced any enzyme, not produced any enzyme. So naturally, in this case, it will be the dominant allele which is going to dominate. Now come to the second one, the second case. Here, no enzyme was produced. Here, the enzyme is produced, but it is non-functional. So, non-functional enzyme is produced. So, in this case also what will happen? It is the this gene which is going to dominate. Third case, let us see the third case. Here, due to the mutation, the gene which is formed, it is going to produce a normal enzyme or less efficient enzyme. Normal or less efficient enzyme. So, ye kya karega? it is going to produce the same effect like the dominant one. That is why this allele becomes dominant. There can be one more effect that due to the mutation, the gene which is formed, it forms equally efficient but a different type of enzyme which has a different effect on this substrate. It is going to produce a different effect on the substrate. This type of allele which is producing this type of enzyme, it will show either co-dominance, ki dono express ho jate hai, ya na teri na meri. We will show the, abhi kya padha? Intermediate wala, incomplete dominance. So, in that case, it may be co-dominance or incomplete dominance. These are the various reasons why the one allele can be dominant or the two alleles can be co-dominant or they produce incomplete dominance effect. So, this is all. Hope all your concepts are clear. Students, get the link for the notes of the complete chapter from the description box. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get all my notifications in time. Thank you for watching the video.